Hi there and welcome back to Triplicate and uh, I recently started out to make a video on doing some work on the mood light which hopefully should be the maybe next video out uh, and as part of that I wanted to fit uh, a USB to serial FDDI board so I needed to go into the configuration for the STM32 uh, processor and set up another serial port so uh, to do that I fired up CubeMX so here we go and um, I started it up and it asked me to update it so yeah I let it update itself uh, and then I tried to open or load as they have here the mood light so if we go into here yep we find the IOC file which is CubeMX's files and we hit open and we get this so alright it's been a while since I worked on this uh, because I set all the peripherals up and, and that was fine. I was working exclusively on the code and I tried to migrate um, I tried to migrate and project won't be owned. Oh dear what do we do now? So this video is going to be how to get over that problem um, in part and then I'm going to go over how to set up a new project um, with the latest STM32 tools okay so CubeMX asked me to upgrade and did it automatically but if you haven't got it and you want to download it this is where you get it from so as you can see in that uh, unhelpful little dialogue it is complaining my tools are out of date and that's my own fault for not updating the uh, development environment um, which I normally do but had, did not in this case so next I decided to develop, update the development environment and uh, that's where I got it from um, it's the STM32 cube IDE now uh, so I have done that and here it is installed and ready to go uh, I've also played with this and actually got it working. So this is not my normal uh, bringing you along for watching me going um, and getting it wrong. I actually know what I'm doing, I believe, <laughs> here. So uh, this is more a tutorial, this one. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is back up our original projects, which are now redundant. So we're going to have a f create a new folder. And we call it, call it Mood Light STM32 Old. And we are going to put the code in there, the old code in there. And we're going to put the old workspace in there. And we're going to now create a new folder for the new code. Mood light STM32 and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a copy of our, our uh, CubeMX uh, project file in this new directory. right so before we actually start up the uh, cube ide we are going to create a folder in here for the workspace 
which will be Moodlight Workspace. Like that. And we're going to enter our workspace just to see what's going on in there. Now we are going to start. The IDE. Okay, so I've chosen to open their workspace 1.14.0, the default one they supply. So we will now go to switch workspace to other and we will browse our way to our uh, mood light directory. Okay, here we are in the Moodlight STM32 directory and here's our workspace. So we will select that folder. There it is, launch. So it will now restart the editor very slowly. Talk amongst yourselves. Right, so we are now in Moodlight workspace. Uh, so next, now we want to remove their very helpful information center and we want to file import general import existing configuration file cubemx file next Okay, file, browse. Right, so we go back to our Moodlite, Moodlite STM32.ioc, open. Okay, finish. You can open a perspective if you want to. Right, so we're back to this, but we can now do something sensible with this. We want to migrate our project to the current version. Oh yes, we do. Right, and this new Cube IDE cleverly embeds the Cube MX in it, so you don't have to load an extra um, program and sort of uh, generate code and then recompile, recompile it all. It does it all, all in one hit. So let's look in here. So it's generated the project in the workspace. Doesn't seem to mind this. I thought it didn't like it doing that, but it doesn't seem to mind it. And in here we have all the files. Um, but we only have the files they generate. We don't have any of our program files. Uh, so let's now um, have a look at uh, incorporating those. Uh, but before we do that, let's just try build all. Just to check she's working all right. And it's all painfully slow and I've had to cut a lot out because um, the Camtasia screen recorder just drags my computer down and it, everything runs at snail pace. Time for a new computer. But that's for a future video. Okay, so that builds nicely. So yeah, as I say, now back to incorporating our existing files into the project. Okay, so this probably isn't the best way of doing this, but it's the way I'm doing it for now. Um, so let's start by getting all our files that um, we have generated and copying them from the old 
which is below to the new which is above so that's that one definitely not main and these are all the moods that is a system that is a system syscalls is a sister system yeah test and that's the led driver so we copy those and we go into here and we paste those there we go and similarly the include files So that's that one, that one, not main.h. Oh, our includes for our various moves, not these system ones, test and the LED driver. Copy, paste. Right, uh, we didn't copy the main because. Um, I haven't compared them in detail, but the main, newly generated main, is probably different in some respects than the old main, uh, due to everything being updated. So we need to take the newly generated main and update the bits of it that contain uh, our code, uh, which hopefully is not too much. So let's have a look at that. Okay. So now, so first, let's see if our files are included. No. <laughs> it's doing it. Okay, so you saw there, I cleaned the project and it's by magic, all our files now appear in here, which is nice. Uh, so next time we compile they should all compile as well however we want to open uh, let's start with main.c so we open that okay so we also want to open our old file which i have move just into the base directory of our new project and put an X at the end of the name just so we know which is which. All right, managed to get them side by side. Really must at some point learn how to use this editor properly. <laughs> okay, so this is our main X. So we want everything out of here, everything we put in here to be put also in here. So you can see we have include.h copy paste I mean this all does look exactly the same in the new one but I just can't be confident that there isn't some difference that's going to catch us out System conflict after user code begins sissing it. There's that. I can't remember why I needed to put that in. Further down, right, user code begin to. There's all this jolly little lot. Right, after while one, there uh, is this jolly little what? And that I believe is it. Uh, this editor does have a file compare and uh, at some point I'm sure I will get round to uh, learning how it works. 
but so far not. Right, we will do main.h in a similar manner. Okay, that should be it. So shall we and build all. There we go, all builds correctly and I know it's painfully slow, that's because I've got Camtasia's screen recorder uh, using all the processor power. So let's fire it up and see if it still works. Okay, so uh, we are going to run uh, debug as, <laughs> that's what it is, so we're just going to debug okay um, yeah okay I think we want it to do whatever it wants to do there um, so it makes it and it doesn't make it because it's re already built and here we go Uh, yeah, you can switch to the debug perspective, we'll let you. And there it goes. Right, it's at the start and if we look at it, it's stopped doing anything. So if we press start, should, yep, burst into life. And there is an improvement on this, uh, whereby if I were to, I'll go in here and I'll just do an edit that isn't an edit. If I now go run debug, it will uh, always save sources. Okay, so before, if you tried to download code while it was actually running, it would just come up with an error message and say it couldn't access the debugger now. Whereas now it's smart enough to stop the debugger uh, and start again. So we can start again and it'll do whatever it does. So, great. So that was uh, however long it's been to get to the point where I can actually now start working on the Moonlight. Wonderful. Okay, so let's now uh, look at starting up uh, a new project using the latest version of the tools, which is actually, I believe, pretty much the same as the old version, but we'll do it anyway. Um, so you don't have to go back and look at the old video. And this is the F446RB, RE, should I say, board that we are using in the boat speedometer project because it's a project that needs to be started so let's uh, without further ado get on and start that project okay so the first thing we want to do is create some folders okay so here we are in the boat speedo stm32 software folder and we are going to create a folder boat speedo work space and boat speedo code right so let's look keep an eye on what's going on in the workspace because the first thing we want to do is set up the workspace so if i open cube ide okay this is their default workspace which i've uh, put the Moodlight project in 
uh, when I was experimenting. Uh, I guess if you really don't want to muck around with workspaces, you could just put all your projects in there. However, we are going to have a workspace uh, especially for our pod project. So we're going to switch workspace other and uh, we are going to browse okay triplicate boat speedo stm32 software boat speedo workspace select folder okay and we're going to launch and when you switch workspace it still <laughs> shuts the program down and completely relaunches it but in the meantime we can look at that there we go in our workspace we've got the dot metadata folder which is where it stores its workspace okay so now we're going to open cube mx okay here we are and we want to start a project from an st board okay and after some considerable time and some updates we uh, have here our selector thing well, let's stm32 f4 come on go away there we go Four six six re. There we go. Oh, there we go. Start project. Initialize provisional peripherals to their default mode. Yeah, that would be a useful kind of thing to do. Okay, and here she is with the basic peripherals set up for us. Let's have it full screen. So now we want to save that file save project as okay stm32 software and we want to go into boat speedo code okay okay so now we will look in Boat speedo code and we have boat speedo code IOC. Seems to name the file after the folder it's in whether you like it or not. Doesn't matter. So we now need to go into project manager. Uh, very important we set the tool chain to STM32 cube IDE. And the rest of it, don't know don't think we need to change that okay so now we can generate code right close don't open the project otherwise I think it start tries to start another workspace so from now, now go into here yeah, yep we have core and drivers in the core as sort of like source files and the main file and we are good so now if we go back into the IDE uh, get rid of the help center we don't want that now we want file open project from file system uh directory which will be our code select folder and finish and there it is boat speedo code core source and we want to look at main and we want to put a bit of code in main so we actually know it's doing what we want it to do 
Okay, so just to check that everything is uh, is as it should be and we can run the code we want to, uh, we're going to put a bit of code in which just blinks the onboard LED twice. This bit of code is uh, in the description along with uh, uh, a brief notes, a set of brief notes is what I've done for this and what I did for the uh, upgrading the mood light, updating the mood light problem, project. Uh, so if I paste that in there, there we go, there's some code. So that should just give a double blink uh, with a pause after it, just to see we're doing what we think we're doing or all this stuff has worked so we are going to build this project hopefully and there it is and the reason it took ages and ages is because I've got Camtasia recorder running which uh, pinches all the processor power and I think I need a new laptop as well anyway so now should we uh, run debug um, launch configuration properties uh, we are going to say ok hopefully ok it's downloaded there we are, and it started at the very start of main, so we're good. So shall we hit, no, not that, the start button. Off it goes. And there we see a little double blink on the LED. So that's it, our project started. We can start adding our own code to it. And pretty soon the boat speedo code project uh, we'll have some code added, added to it, so uh, do uh, stay with the channel and um, that should be fun. Okay, so that's the end of this video, which uh, is a bit more tutorial than norm my normal um, trying to work it out as I go along. Even then I sort of had a few hiccups, but there you go. And... Uh, Right, so now we've got that far, we can move on with the mood light and the boat speedo. So the next video is probably going to be the mood light, which uh, was going to be released for Christmas, but now it won't because I've spent however long doing this video. Uh, so it'll be after Christmas, um, followed by boat speedo, possibly. Uh, and if you're watching this... Um, at the end of December. Uh, Merry Christmas if you are a Christmas person. Happy winter holiday otherwise. Uh, and we'll see you soon. So for now it's a goodbye from Triplicate. Goodbye.